Hello and welcome back to Hundred Percent Info. In this video, I'll be showcasing all the best and coolest AI features that can be found on Sony Xperia 10 Mark 7. And let's begin. And we can start off the list by a very simple feature, but yet still very useful, the Google Gemini. By default, it can be accessed by pressing and holding the power button. And as you can see, now we have our chat with Gemini, an AI assistant from Google. So, we can scroll all the way down and head into continue. And now we have some nice, really key information about uh, Gemini and what exactly it can access. And of course, I will go into use Gemini. And now we can just talk to it. So, for example, I will ask it a very simple question, like, I don't know. Hello, Gemini. Is the Hollow Knight Silk Song good game? Yeah, of course, as you can see, we can even pause it and we can even clearly hear what it wanted to say, which I think is pretty cool. So, what can we do then? Well, uh, of course, we can also use the Gemini for other things. For example, we can maybe pause this. We can, of course, if we want, we can just uh, manually type in our question. And if we click the plus icon, we can go into a camera and, for example, get ourselves a nice Im image to prompt. So, for example, I can make a photo of my flower here. Let's go into attach. And now we can go into talk live about this. And now Gemini Live is something very, very interesting because with that we have the ability to Okay, so as you can see, we have the ability to tap the live button and now it will turn on the mic uh, for good and we'll be able to uh, just talk with Gemini. It will be able to see exactly our stuff on our screen and I think it's a pretty cool feature. So we can go into OK. And as you can see now, we should be able to just talk. Yeah, we can also bump up the volume because I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. So now we should be able to hear our Gemini. Can can you hear us, Gemini? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. How's your day going so far? Okay, so as you can see, we can just fully talk to him if you want to. We can also just pause him and then we can leave the Gemini. And oh, now he even analyzes our our <laughs> image and is asking if the plant is real or artificial and actually it is indeed artificial but okay enough about the google gemini we have a very dedicated video to just to google life and gemini life but did you know that we can also use a circle to search and it actually counts as ai feature as well we can enable the circle to search by going to the settings scrolling all the way down heading into system then going into our gestures we should go into navigation mode and in here we have circle to search and as you can see we can press and hold onto this little bar here and, and now we can circle something that we want to search so for example we can go into i don't know facebook here and we have some nice ai overview about what facebook is actually we also can uh, go into some visual matches which i think is a very very cool feature but of course that's enough about the very typical settings because let's be honest you can find these uh, on almost every device nowadays but what you don't really usually see or find is by going into the video creator you can see a nice application that i believe is very typical and very specific to sony xperia phones only so we can go into new project and as you can see i have some predetermined things but i also have some other things for example i have uh, some videos about the logos here now i have no idea what i'm going to talk about there but I will go into this clip, or actually I can go into this clip, this clip and this clip. Now we can go into this auto edit button and 
we can go into duration. So we can set the duration to 30 seconds, and that's pretty interesting because, well, um, usually the, our, our videos are actually longer than 30 seconds, which is pretty interesting. We can also go into music, and as I can see, we can select it at random, but I will just leave it as selected as random. And let's see what exactly will happen. Also, I will enable auto fast forward long clips when importing to fit the duration. But also, I thought we can just uh, disable this and we'll see what will happen because remember that our clips are actually longer than 30 seconds. Let's go and let's press start. And now we have our auto edit. So now we have our clips with our video. And yeah, that's about it. So that's not very good, we can play it. Now, as I can see, I have no idea what the hell is this. So we can go into how to edit. And once again, we can just go into auto editing and maybe we'll see something different. As you can see, the photos here are quite different and the length of the clips are different as well. We also have the ability to go into filter and we can also go into different things. I believe that some of these are once again, f um, are once again AI generated. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. So I will shorten up this section here because I think it's pretty boring. And I can go into here, go into filter, and for example, I will go into nostalgic because for reasons. Oh, we accidentally applied it to all. Let's only apply it here. I can also go into adjust, and I think I will decrease saturation so it will be black and white. And now I have something interesting. I will also lower the volume maybe. And now let's see what will happen. Okay. Beautiful. Um, absolutely. Of course, we can also shorten up this music here. We can shorten up this clip right here, so it kind of matches with, it, with its length. And I will just hit export, and now we have the ability to export whatever the AI is trying to achieve here. Of course, if you would provide it more clips, and especially it's important that you want to provide your clips with a fairly good amount of continuity, because you could notice that if we go hit done and come into new project, you can actually oh sorry, you can actually set up into different and different order so as you can see the order really matters but i believe that's all for this video of course there are also different ai functions that i didn't really mention for example if you go to the camera you should be able to go into something like ai auto exposure and ai color looks which should in theory automatically adjust your colors and exposure and all of that you can also use ai to and try to recognize different scenes and then adjust the camera settings but i will leave that to other video when i'm talking when i will be talking about the camera settings themselves so anyway that's all for this video if you found it useful make sure to leave a like subscribe and as always thanks for watching see you next time